Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at which talents of yours will bring you the most success. So please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. As I'm doing a reading about talents, everybody's going to have different talents here. So please take the energy and discern what is meant for you and what is meant for someone else. If it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. Just leave it and let it be. Okay, so let me show you your crystals. We have pile number one with the screen Aventurine. We have pile number two with this Amethyst crystal. And we have pile number three with this blue lace agate crystal. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile, pick whichever pile you are most drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, you can pick two or all of them. Your intuition will always know best. You can also pause the video if you need more time. And if you are done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. And then I will see you at your reading. Hi there, my pile number ones. If you chose the screen of Venturine Crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at which of your talents are going to bring you the most success? You chose the card Earth, Nurture, Nature. I'm going to go ahead and add your oracle cards for you and then I'll pull your tarot cards as we go along. So it says Earth, Nurture, Nature, the first card. The second card you have is the Violet Flame. The next card we have is Pleasure. The next card we have is Harvest. And for your small tarot card we have the Page of Wands. I'm going to go ahead and add your tarot cards for you now. So I just wanted to prepare the oracle cards in advance because I had a bit of time but now I'm just going to pull the tarot cards on camera. So which talents for my pile number ones will bring my pile number ones the most success? We have the full card. I love this. Which talents will bring the most success for my pile number ones. The King of Swords, the High Priestess, we have the Hanged Man. Which talents will bring the most success for my pile number ones? We have the Three of Cups, we have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Devil card. At the back of the deck we have the Magician. So what I'm seeing in your cards, my pile number ones, I'm seeing that whatever you are the most talented at, and whatever talents will bring you the most gifts, I feel for a lot of you, you may have different talents altogether in this pile. So I'm going to mention the different talents I see. 
that I feel in your cards and I see in your cards will bring you the most success. But as I always say, you know you best, my pal number ones. You know your lives, your personalities best. So take these messages with a grain of salt and really discern which messages are for you and which uh, to just let go of because this is going to be different for everyone. But what I am seeing about talents in the cards with the violet flame here, I see the energy of healing. Okay, healing energies. So some of you could be actually spiritual healers in some type of way. Or some of you could be in the medical healing industry with earth, nurture, nature. I think of earth as physical healing. Um, as we see all the thunder and her heart here is like making the plants grow. You know, it could be the type of healing that is in the physical nature where it's like maybe planting gardens, things like that. Um, gardening, <laughs> florists, that's an idea I can just come up with based on the image I see. Or physical healing like the medical industry. Perhaps some of you are really good at putting your heart into healing people in a physical way. The first thing that also comes to mind is like the types of um, physiotherapy, things like that. Also, what's coming to mind, healing people physically, dietitians, people that help others with food, their food diet, their food, um, what is best for their body type, what is best for their blood type, etc, etc. The energy I'm feeling is like dietitians. Um, that help people physically in some type of way as well with any ailments. So for example, people that are allergic to gluten, helping them find, just an example, helping them find like things that they can eat that would be good for their body, that would be healthy for them in some type of way. Also, maybe people that help you come up with like an exercise plan that is going to be healthy for you. That type of energy is what I pick up from, from the physical nature of it. Some of you could be emotional healers here with the four of cups. We see this person looking very sad. Here we have a helping hand coming out of nowhere to help them, to help them see the rainbow in life after being disappointed by something with the five of cups to help them see life and positivity after being sad disappointed lonely bored with their life stuck with their life um, stuck in toxic cycles to help them see a plan out of that with the devil card maybe helping people heal from things that keep them stuck either physically or emotionally here with with these cards or mentally from things that keep them stuck things that keep people stuck let's just give an example perhaps you'd really be good at helping people in like rehab or perhaps you'd be really good at helping people with mental um, and emotional things that are keeping them hostage like trauma therapy um, marriage counseling things like that basically i'm not really getting any other examples with the devil card but maybe just helping people get out of things that keep them stuck okay maybe even habits because i want to show you this card this woman here looks like she's wearing lingerie. So, that's not, that's not to say lingerie is bad. But what I'm picking up from the energy, they look like they've just gone on a night out or something. You know what I mean? Um, 
And when I think of nights out, I think of like self-destructive tendencies or habits that keep us stuck in some type of way. You get what I mean? It doesn't always have to equate to that. But since I'm reading the energies of things that keep people stuck, perhaps habits like um, drinking or using substances that keep them stuck in a cycle or trying to chase happiness through those things, through maybe shopping too much, through yeah, I'm kind of getting that type of energy, like through self-destructive tendencies. Maybe you may be good at helping people like that. So take it as it resonates, my pile number ones. But there is definitely the sense of healing here, emotional healing here, mental healing to help people get out of mental blocks, physical healing in some way or form. I also feel like you're really good at connecting pe with people here with the Three of Cups. So perhaps some of you would be amazing at and really talented at connecting with people in some level. So perhaps working with clients, perhaps working with people in general. For example, um, let's say someone is, let's say someone is doing my nails. They're working with people all day and they really find pleasure from this job. I get the energy with pleasure here and the three of cups. They really enjoy this job and they make me feel good while they're doing my nails because we're having a chat. It doesn't feel like a client connection, but it feels more like fun. And I can see they're really enjoying do my, doing my nails and it just makes the vibe overall pro positive. Do you see the Three of Cups here? Let me not pick it up, but do you see the happy energies here? It just looks very happy, very celebratory. So perhaps you're just really good at connecting to people and making people in a certain um, happy energy of celebration. You know what I mean? So perhaps you'd be really good at doing something you find pleasure in and making people happy at the same time. Let me try to give us other examples. Let's say hairdressing. Um, people that do hair, they maybe find a lot of pleasure in doing that and they make people happy while giving a service, connecting to people in some type of way. Or let's just say people that um, love everything about food and create a restaurant and it's a new idea they have but they really find pleasure out of like making food making ideas and then having people come and eat that food or let's say we have something where like they're giving me the idea of like event planning or places where people can have celebrations at even with the three of cups um where people can really connect on a level that is more fun perhaps maybe even fashion design as we see here um, another thing I'm picking up on is the arts or connecting with people in a beautiful way so like the arts and fashion like I mentioned maybe makeup we see her face looks so pretty here maybe like dancing we see her dancing on a stage so that's kind of like entertainment, making people happy. They're sitting watching her dance and she's getting a lot of fun and pleasure out of doing it. Perhaps even acting, theatre work. That kind of energy is what I also pick up on because you're connecting to other people on stage and the other people are enjoying by watching. Take it as it resonates, my pal number threes. But Think of if you are a person that can really connect with people. Take all I say with a grain of salt because I'm seeing different talents here that maybe everyone has a different perspective on. But think of what really makes you pleasure. What makes you pleasurable? Like what types of hobbies can you do that really give you pleasure? Are there anything, any types of things you do that really make you feel like you're celebrating, like you're having a lot of fun? 
while you do that hobby or that certain activity because I am feeling the energy of fun here with the pleasure card, with the three of cups, with the fool trying something new. Perhaps maybe even for some of you you've never tried certain things before that you've always wanted to try or you've maybe had an interest in and they're letting you know it's okay to be a beginner it's okay to start small and to learn but the important thing is that you are having fun while you're doing it that you actually enjoy the specific talent okay so there could be something that you really enjoy doing that you would really get pleasure out of that you're maybe thinking of doing with the full card that you haven't started yet or haven't learned yet or maybe you still need to learn the page of wands but you feel like you'd have a lot of fun doing it and you may be very talented at that specific thing so think of maybe things you are thinking of doing that you think you would maybe enjoy even if you can't think of any today explore yourself explore what makes what feels fun even if it's just a hobby for now while you learn explore what you might be interested in where your passion lies where you feel like you can have fun and explore how you really like to connect to others because whatever this talent is is something you enjoy doing something you have a lot of passion for even if you are a beginner and you start out by learning maybe creative maybe something new maybe something to do in the field of healing or as i mentioned even this could be healing like i mentioned how do i explain this so let's say someone let's go back to the I examples i used let's someone say someone is a nail artist and they make nails they're a nail tech, okay? I go and do my nails by this lady. I'm feeling very sad this morning, okay? I'm not feeling great about myself. I'm feeling not so confident. Oh, look at my outfit. I'm not feeling the best, okay? So I really want to go and do my nails and make it nice. And I get to the lady and she looks so happy to be there. She's done her makeup nicely. She looks so gorgeous. And I'm like, yes, I can't wait to do my nails and i go and do my nails she talks to me she connects to me really well with the three of cups she makes me feel comfortable she asks me what i want and she does it and we're having conversations while i am doing my while i'm doing my nails there and i can really see her heart is in this her heart is connected to whatever she does and it feels like Whatever she's doing, she's creating around her, as we see the idea of plants growing. There could have been storms before in my emotions, but now I'm feeling happy with this rainbow energy. And she's really shining in what she's doing with the peacock feathers here, because her heart is connected to it, so flowers are growing around her as a metaphor. You know, I'm taking this as like an example, it doesn't have to be nail tech, but what do you feel like your heart you can really put your heart into and nurture that dream and it feels like plants are growing around you it feels like you're creating and you're really shining and you're really standing out with the peacock feathers like you really bring rainbows to whatever storms once were what do you feel like you really connect to on a deep level through your heart where you really find pleasure in because that is your answer and there may be a few different things for each person here that you really connect to on a deep level so take it as it resonates my pile number ones but i really feel like whatever this is it is healing on somewhat level it doesn't have to be actually going into the healing field but whatever you could be doing or enjoying doing or being talented at doing could bring you a lot of success because you enjoy doing that so then you shine even more with all these stars here you shine even more because you enjoy doing it think of when a person is not enjoying what they're doing they don't look happy to be there but when someone's really enjoying what they're doing even if they don't know everything with the page of wands they're learning as they go along but they look happy to do it so they're going to put in more effort 
So whatever you enjoy doing, you shine at my pile number ones. That's what I see with the pleasure card and all these stars behind her. And since we see a lot of purple here, trust your intuition with things you may be interested in, things you may shine at, things you may be talented at. And don't be afraid to try new things with the full card, to try out new hobbies and see what works for you. See, even if it takes you a little bit longer to learn, give yourself that time to learn. You won't be talented the first go, just like when we learn to drive a car. You're not going to be talented at the first go. Give yourself time to learn and see and explore and see this as a new adventure with the full card as something you can explore and if you don't like it you can cross it off your list and go to the next thing okay so you don't have to make a decision right away with the king of swords really weigh out the pros and cons in your mind of what you would enjoy doing you know what i mean with the high priestess yeah trust your intuition with what you think this could be try out different things with the king of swords because we're mixing logic and intuition here okay so mix your logic you're very intelligent to find out brainstorm on things you'd be good at take your time to really decide mentally and logically but also trust your intuition at the same time so my pal number ones you also may be really good at logically and rationally thinking things through solving problems even if it's not in people's emotions solving problems that could cause emotional dis distress in companies you know what i mean and you are also very intuitive where you can mix your logic and mix your intuition and i feel you're also really smart people so perhaps you're really good at rationalizing things coming up with ideas or using your mental state in some type of way to communicate an idea some type of maybe even writing with the king of swords and mixing your intuition and your logic together in some type of way or maybe you're really good at problem solving or thinking of ideas things like that using your mind or your voice in some type of way and mixing your logic and intuition together with the hangman here be very patient with finding out what this talent is finding out what you would really enjoy and get pleasure out of and celebrate doing be patient with it and try to look at it from the perspective of a new adventure here with the fool not a chore okay because each little new adventure, even if you make a mistake along the way, leads you closer to what you are most talented at. You could also be very patient people, and that could be a talent of yours. So, as I mentioned, you are healers in some type of way. Either literally healing people physically, emotionally, or mentally. Or you could be healing people in doing what you enjoy. Like I mentioned, whatever this talent or gift is, is something you really enjoy doing and you're going to get a lot of success or money out of it here with the harvest card. You are maybe going on a new journey here with the fool and the page of wands and starting over new but seeing it as an adventure and learning something new. You may be very talented at using your logic and intuition and communication in some type of way or your mind you may be really talented at being patient with people and connecting with people on a deeper level or helping people resolve things emotionally in some type of way which doesn't always have to mean healing it could mean customer service when a customer is angry and making them feel better in some type of way by helping them solve that problem so take it as it resonates, my pal number ones. And you may also be creating your own sort of your own sort of way in the world and how you perceive it. So like an example, like I mentioned with how do I explain this? Like I mentioned with like a nail tech, for example, they could maybe have not seen it in the way of their healing people by bringing people joy. 
but they are okay or you you know what i mean it's take it as it resonates but maybe also like looking at it in a different perspective can help you see you're creating more than just doing that specific thing looking at at it from like a bird's eye view you're creating something much more or creating change somehow in your life or other people's lives and if it's not healing to others maybe it's healing to you by you enjoying what you're doing so see it at a, like a bird's eye point of view i want to pull some last cards before we end off so what are my pile number ones really talented at that will bring them the most success so as i mentioned some of these traits are things you could be talented at to look deeper into to dig deeper into um, that are going to bring you the most success we have the three of wands we have the well We have the Two of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel here with the cards, perhaps with the Well card, you would maybe need to get to know yourself a bit more, my pile number ones, to find out what you like, what you don't like. Plan how you can maybe include more hobbies in your life of things you might enjoy. And the more you know who you are, the more you know yourself deeply. I am just a tarot reader seeing a little portion of your life. You know you best, you know your personality and really explore what you like, what you don't like with the two of cups next to the well. What do you enjoy? Start with little hobbies. Start with small little steps with the three of wands. Start with what you can plan right now. Start with maybe what you can explore right now with the three of wands. What options you can explore. What things you can plan. What things you can maybe add into your schedule. Different types of hobbies. You know, think of things you can plan right now and explore yourself with the well card and what you might like and what you might really enjoy learning in some type of way even with the page of pentacles or doing for a long time with the seven of pentacles so what i see here with what talents bring you the most will bring you the most success it is going to be something you're really good at something you can really shine in something you find a lot of pleasure and happiness in doing you are really good at communicating or using your mind or logic in some type of way, but also your intuition. You may also be creative. You may, this is something you may be new to or a new journey to you in some type of way, a new beginning in some type of way. You may be healers of some kind, maybe not in the literal way, but take it as it resonates. Um, this is whatever you're talented at is going to bring you a lot of money and a lot of fame and success or maybe just a lot of recognition where you really shine like a star you may also really be talented at planning in some type of way making the steps for someone an example i can give is like content planning for example or people that are working for someone like really big and planning out their day for them you know that kind of energy or you may just be very good at putting details together with the three of wands you may be really talented at going deep within topics with the well deep within subjects deep within the thinking or rabbit holes of certain topics or subjects and that may be a talent you have that assists you to getting success you may be very good at connecting pe with people on a deep level with the two of cups or putting two people together in love or romance like for example um 
marriage counseling you may also be really hard workers and you may also be really fast learners or you may learn in a certain type of way when you're having fun with the page of wands or you may just be very good at paying attention to minor details and learning about vast topics with the page of pentacles or understanding or studying things so those were the talents that would bring you the most success my poundable ones i really hope that this resonated i really hope that this assists you into understanding what talents you have exploring those options you have and creating the success for yourself that you deserve my poundable ones you always deserve to shine in whatever talent you have. So I really hope that this resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pal number twos. If you chose this amethyst crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at which talents will bring you the most success. So please take this as it resonates because this is a general reading everybody's going to be different with their each individual talent so please discern which messages are for you if it doesn't resonate just leave it behind you chose the card balance forces let's go ahead and add the rest of your cards for you i pulled oracle cards in advance but i'm going to pull your tarot cards on camera so your next card is unique gifts The next card we have is Intuition. The next card we have is Celestial Alignment. We have two little tarot cards, the Six of Wands and the Temperance card. let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards for you and see what comes up for your talents spirit guides of my pile number twos spirit guides of my pile number twos i just feel like putting this here <laughs> Okay, spirit guides of my pile number twos, may we please look into which of their talents will bring them the most success? Which of their talents? The chariot. Which of their talents will bring them the most success? The death card. We have the ten of cups. We have the Three of Swords. Which of their talents? Will bring them the most success. We have the Sun card. I'm just trying to organize everything. Which of their talents will bring them the most success? We have the Temperance card. I love that Temperance came up twice. The Queen of Wands. One more card from this tarot deck. One more card for which of their talents will bring them the most success. We have the Six of Swords. At the back of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. So my pile number ones, I feel here from your energy, the talents that will bring you the most success. I feel a lot of you have very unique gifts here with the unique gifts card 
Maybe some of you are aware of these unique gifts, some of you are not. A lot of you have a very strong intuition. The type of intuition where you tell people things and you may not even be aware you're giving them messages, but when you speak to them, the messages just resonate at a heart level, as we see her heart shining out here. You may just be able to have that gift to say to people what they need to hear in that moment. And that may be a talent you have where you connect to the higher realms in some type of, type of way and your intuition is on point. Some of you may have actual clairvoyancy. Some of you may have actual intuitive or psychic gifts. And you even chose the amethyst crystal, which is a very powerful crown chakra crystal or third eye chakra crystal that helps us connect to our intuition or psychic abilities. So my pile number two is explore the different types of psychic abilities. There is a vast amount of different psychic abilities and everyone connects in their own unique way. Some people get messages through dreams. That would be a certain type of clairvoyance. Some people get messages telepathically through their mind or through their heart where they just feel the information, if that makes sense. Some people close their eyes and they see colors or they see shapes or maybe some people will actually have mediumship abilities and see energies and mediumship abilities don't just have to be seeing actual spirits it can be seeing orbs it can be seeing little um energies flowing by if that makes sense uh so it's different for everyone everyone's gifts are unique and different some people so those were more of the clairvoyant kind of energies with the seeing clairvoyance is seeing you could have clairaudience which is hearing messages from spirit hearing songs having songs repeatedly stuck in your head with certain meanings maybe saying the right things to people and hearing it in your mind as if it's something you need to say to them or just letting it come through you in a way through your voice that is another certain type of gift of being able to speak through spirit in some type of way or you could have ringing in your ears that is also a certain type of clear audience which is the gift of hearing spirit um so you know like with hearing and seeing everyone's is different i can give you an example i sometimes see like a lot of movie scenes so for everyone it's going to be different maybe some people hear songs maybe some people see movie scenes in their mind when they're looking at the energy maybe some people see a certain type of animal or a shape that means something specific so it's different for everyone on how you connect some people have the gift of clairsentience, which is the gift of feeling. And I'm feeling quite a huge amount of energy at the back of my head, as I said, clairsentience, and I felt it. So some of you could feel energies when you're around certain types of places, some types of people's energies or people's emotions or some of you could feel people's actual physical ailments like let's say you get onto the bus person has their knee hurt all of a sudden your knee hurts or they have a headache all of a sudden you've caught on their headache think of maybe physical ailments you've had that weren't yours and then when you got to a certain place or were around a certain someone or spoke to a certain someone that energy stuck with you almost like empathic or think of maybe emotional states like where you've maybe felt something, some certain type of emotion that wasn't yours. And sometimes we have this without realizing. Like let's say you go into a hospital. Do you feel the energies are different to going into a nightclub? I'm sure you feel the energy difference. And if you can, then you are clairsentient. <laughs> maybe it is a given, but... If you can walk into houses, maybe even, and feel the different types of energies, like when you walk into this person's house, 
you feel these energies or you work and in, walk into this other person's house and you feel other types of energies or have you ever felt the energy of being judged or looked at in some type of way or thought about like do you maybe feel goosebumps on your arms or physical signs of things with physical messages if that makes sense some people have the gift of tasting and smell but those are sometimes rare and then there are also different types of um, intuitive abilities as well some people have things just come to them naturally they just know the information and that is clear cognizance um, so everyone's gifts are different you could have a mix of different gifts or you could have one that is the strongest and maybe some other ones you know everyone is different so what I would really recommend is keeping a journal of every psychic thing that comes through and even if it doesn't make sense in the moment write it down and reflect back on it okay I also feel like some people here could have a lot of healing energies healing energies with the intuition or you are able to just bring people to a certain type of wholeness or like um, heal or balance out their energies bring them into alignment into wholeness with the celestial alignment card some of you could be really talented at reiki healing in some type of way or any type of physical healing or any type of healing that allows a person to come back to wholeness emotionally physically in some type of way and help them feel safe and help them grow even if that is emotional healing where you are speaking to people like psychology some of you may be good at working with children with the sun card as we see a child on that card some of you may be amazing and great teachers some of you may be really talented at working with children in some type of way so maybe child psychology or social working or au pair perhaps you're really good at connecting with kids like the feeling I get from the sun is maybe not just kids but also teenagers and like artistic kind of vibes maybe like an art teacher or the energy of creation in some type of way creative energy some of you could have creative gifts where you're really good at tapping into that imagination of a child almost if that makes sense so some of you could really be talented at something artistic like I mentioned with the sun card and you could use your intuition to bring out that artistic side of you to bring out that imagination like some people could be really cl clairvoyant and have an active imagination and not realize they have clairvoyance and paint something really beautiful but they got it from spirit and it was a new unique gift um, here with the unicorn and the rainbows and the sunshine makes me feel of that I idea of like imagination this vivid type of energy of imagination and creating something beautiful so it doesn't have to be one type of artistic thing as we see here mixing drinks it could be mixology it could be the art of like creating something like baking cooking makeup fashion as we see here um, dancing singing storytelling with the unicorn the kids maybe writing books making movies for children i'm feeling hands on my back some of you could be doing books like storytelling books for children really talented at that or making movies or cartoons for children or just things for teenagers or young adults things that are fun and light-hearted maybe good at creating like movies or writing things that really get people's imaginations going so since I felt the hands on my back when I said that I feel good energies like goosebumps on my back I'm going to take that as confirmation in some type of way 
with the balance forces and the temperance showing up twice some of you could be mixing two energies together and making it one finished product for example mixing spirituality and medicine as an example or mixing intuition and art as another example it doesn't have to be exactly like that but you could be mixing two energies together or two talents together as one so it doesn't necessarily have to be two talents together it could also be two energies like i'll give you an example i do tarot readings for clients but I have to mix the energy of psychicness, the feminine energies and the masculine energies with planning. I can't just have a whole day where I don't know what I have to do. I have to have a schedule and everything written down in a schedule for everything to run smoothly. That is an example of a mix of energies together. Okay. Something about the voice, as we see a star over the voice, some of you could be really amazing at communicating things, at singing, at using your voice in some type of way, um, like public speaking, making people laugh, comedians, um, motivators in some type of way. I just checked the time, it is 555. Perhaps you're really good at changing things in people's lives by something you bring or something you create by an energy you bring or that can be in any way possible um let's use the example of being an art teacher let's say you're an art teacher and you really change these kids lives or these teenagers lives by being fun and vibrant and showing them their creative side because that's maybe a gift you have that's just an example it doesn't have to be so 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 huge but just be open-minded to how you could maybe change people's lives or your own life with this talent that will bring a lot of success with the six of wands do we see this woman getting recognized and winning some type of award so you may b get some type of public recognition or success or be really admired from afar for what you achieve with your talent. So this is a lot of success because Six of Wands is success. But since it's that image, that's a lot of success very, very fast with the chariot. So I also feel with the Queen of Wands, maybe you are also really talented at making people feel beautiful in some way. So that reminds me of fashion, that reminds me of makeup, making people feel confident in a way, like being a life coach, knowing what to say with your intuition and with your logic and also being really fun and vibrant and being able to connect with people, make people feel good about themselves. Um, let's say I'm also feeling like motivator vibes like those people that inspire people and motivate them by speaking out about something like on YouTube or on stage I'm also feeling the energies of like makeup nails making people feel beautiful maybe in the beauty industry in some type of way like even if it's just creating products that make people feel beautiful or good about themselves and that could be healing in a way if that makes sense because they look in the mirror and they feel good about themselves. Queen of Wands energy also reminds me of like decoration so maybe you're really good at event planning or they're showing me like wedding dresses for women making them feel happy on their wedding day with the sun card and the queen of wands and feel beautiful or um like what else are they showing me they're showing me like interior design as well making people's homes look beautiful in some type of way and making them feel good and attractive in their own home if that makes sense because the sun and the queen of wands is here so my pile number ones, like I mentioned, you are really talented at 
intuitively getting some type of information. And with that gift, you know, you may be using it mixed with something else without realizing, or this may be your gift where you are mixing it with maybe healing or something else where you are maybe like doing art with the sun card and then using your intuition as an example. There's a mix of energies here with the balance of forces. So you may be mixing two talents or two energies together with this specific talent. I see you being very talented at making pe people feel good about themselves. You may be creative in some way. You may have healing energy in some type of way. And you may be very good at making people feel safe, come to wholeness um, and grow as a person. You may be very good at motivating people, making people feel good about themselves, making people feel um, happy about a certain product or service that makes them feel good about how they look or the environment around them. And whatever this is, you're going to make a lot of success or recognition recognition from it or kind of like shine in whatever you do. And whatever this is, whatever this talent is, it is a very unique gift that is going to bring change to your life or other people's lives. You may also be really good at connecting with people with the Ten of Cups connecting to families or whatever this talent or gifted could connect to families or people in general and make people happy in some type of way. With the death card that also gives me the idea of transformation or change in some type of way. You could be really good at transforming things or people. So let's use an example. Let's take a dress. Maybe you're good at transforming dresses from being old looking or boring looking to really making it in style from knowing what people like and connecting to people and knowing what people like to make them feel beautiful or handsome. Or you could be really good at like interior design with the transformation or transforming people's emotions here with the death card and the three of swords maybe you're really good at connecting to people and you become a psychologist and you heal people and maybe you mix your intuition and also your logic of psychology together in some type of way and you help people leave behind whatever made them feel heartbroken and go towards the rainbows in life and the happiness the vibrancy you may also become in a very powerful leadership or just powerful position with the chariot right next to the six of wands. So I felt all these energies here and I feel like whatever this is, whatever this talent is, use your intuition to decipher what this could be for you because everyone is different watching this. I am aware of that. So really use your intuition to decipher like what this could be for you based on your personality, okay? But whatever this talent is, it is going to bring you a lot of success, a lot of recognition, a lot of you shining in that type of uh, talent or department and you really moving up very quickly to where you want to be in your success but also you really moving fast and getting some type of powerful position or some type of powerful success or recognition with the six of wands so spirit guides of my pile number twos spirit guides of my pile number twos what talents are bringing in the most success for my pile number twos what talents are bringing in the most success the magician We have, I'm hearing a ringing in my ears now, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. We 
we have the well. We have the three of wands. I'm going to add this in now, now. Okay, so what I see here, just like in the cards we have here, a lot of you may be really talented at something creative here with the magician or creating something like creating a business, um, creating wealth, creating um, success because it's next to the six of wands. You may be really talented at creating things, maybe creating ideas, new projects, um, just kind of things that elevate success in what you do or what your company does, something along those lines. You're really good at creating happiness and this kind of energy of healing in people and people feeling good about themselves as we spoke about earlier really good at creating connections with people okay so there's something you're really good at creating here um, in your energy my pound number twos and that is a talent you have you're also really talented at making money or understanding finances in some type of way with the queen of pentacles okay when you really go out there and create whatever it is you want to create with your talents. You're also really consistent with the Knight of Pentacles when it comes to your success and your career. And that is another talent you have, this ability to consistently and in a grounded way and stable way, go after your dreams and create the dreams you want, create the success you want, create money, create that kind of flow. And then also be really grounded and stable while doing it and structured, organized, um, paying attention to detail. Those are traits you have that are talents as well. So it's like you have a balanced kind of energy as we see here, where you have this intuitive side, this creative side perhaps, but you're also really grounded and stable. And that is a talent that you can mix for the best results, okay? Perhaps you're also really good good at building stability or talented at building stability in some type of way for you or a company or just like paying attention to small small details that brings everything in together. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you have this balance of energy where you're stable, but you can also go really deep into subjects and topics and ideas and pay attention to minor details but also have the creativity with it okay the energy this gives me is you would be really good at like something where you combine logic and intuition or creativity and logic in some type of way or I don't know it's like you pay attention to the small details yet you can also go very deep into things things and like notice small things other people don't and really understand things in a deep way if that makes sense and that is another talent you have the best way i can describe this energy in an example is movie directors because they're paying attention to small tiny details that nobody notices at first glance but they're also putting such a deep message behind the movie and it's something creative opposite the sun even if the movie is a bit sad they still have a positive overall message or a negative message depending on what they're trying to do and it's like a deep message and then but it's also very structured with details that most people would miss but bring everything together. That's an example of the energy. So the next cards we have was the Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. So the energy I see here is you are really talented at planning and moving forward and planning the little details of things, working on the little details of things, the baby steps, you're really good at consistently 
going day by day and that what's, that's what makes you really gain success in this lifetime with your talents because you're going to go after it in a very grounded way, day by day, little by little, step by step. Of course, you have a big dream and a big vision, but this balance of grounded energy, stable energy with the creative, imaginary, um, imaginative energy, but also visionary energy mixed together is so, so, so powerful. As we see with this crystal here, it looks like the energy of power and transformation with the sea snakes. So that was your reading, my pile number twos. If this message resonated, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this blue lace agate crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at which talents, which of your talents are going to bring in the most success. So you chose the card Internal Explorer. I'm going to go ahead, ahead and add your other oracle cards and pull your tarot cards on camera. Please remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't because this is a general reading, it's going to be different for everyone. So everyone's talents and gifts may not be the same. So please discern if the message is for you and if it doesn't feel like it's for you, you can leave it. Okay, so we have the card Gracious Receptivity. We have the card Awakening. We have the card Desire. And we have the Oracle card, not the Oracle card, the Tarot card, the Star. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add your tarot cards now. Okay, so I am getting a specific message. You know, when I just kind of like got out your cards, got everything ready, I was hearing like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, you know how dancers use that kind of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some of you may be dancers. And I just heard that as a specific message. Or you may love to dance. You may have a talent in dancing or moving your body in some type of way. Or um, gymming, physical training, helping people like that. Um, helping people with their fitness or yoga is something I'm thinking of. But that's just a specific message for some of you, not all of you. So take it as it resonates, my pile number threes. What are the talents that are going to bring in success for my pile number threes. What are the talents that are going to bring in success for my pile number threes? The death card. Okay, this is not a bad card, but we'll talk about it now. When I was thinking about that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kind of like rhythm, perhaps it's also maybe you have this talent of making the mundane fun because when I think of it like they make it almost like beat like but it's just counting numbers so you may also be very talented at making mundane things fun so an example I can give for this is like teachers that make mundane acts fun or maybe you just are a very exciting person that makes mundane things like counting fun um, I can't think of anything else, but maybe even some people here are mothers or something like that, or you have this kind of energy that is exciting to people, even when you're doing something mundane. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Empress card. So what are the talents that my pile number threes have that are going to bring my pile number threes the most success? 
we have the foo. We have the high priestess. I just want to move the cards up a little bit so there's space. So that was the Three of Cups. What talents are going to bring in my pile number three is the most success? We have the King of Swords. What? Ooh. <laughs> I feel like taking this one, the Seven of Swords, and I felt drawn to this pink card because there's too many here, the Ten of Wands. Okay, since the Seven of Swords is next to the Ten of Wands. I didn't see this energy beforehand, but I just felt drawn to getting this card and the pink card. So I'm feeling like some of you could have a talent here. Do you see this man in this specific Seven of Swords? He's taking away the swords. He is not... How do I explain this? He's taking away the swords from this person that is holding so many wands and they're so tired because they're holding so many it looks like it's about to slip out her hand and fall because she's carrying so many so i see this almost as like a kind gesture in the context of the seven of swords being next to the ten of wands usually it wouldn't mean this but in the context of the cards being together in this way i see it as a kind gesture to almost take away some of the burdens so we have the nine of wands at the back of the deck and nine of wands represents a challenge do you see this person breathing in deep because they're on the dance floor and they're wearing such a tight corset they're leaning behind here to hope they don't fall out of breath so there's this energy of you being able to take away challenges or burdens to people so perhaps I felt this energy before, perhaps some of you are great problem solvers or you are healers of some kind where you take away challenges or maybe you take away emotional burdens that are weighing heavily on people's back or physical burdens like, I can give an example, problem solving or how do I put this in words, like an example, let's say someone is dealing with a lot of infestations of insects and you're taking away their physical problem or burden then you're exterminating for example it doesn't have to be that or let's say someone is experiencing a lot of stress because their office is untidy and someone goes and cleans that that's taking away their stress or their burdens it doesn't have to be what you're doing but I'm trying to give examples for the energy <laughs> I'm trying to think of better ways to give examples but let me think you could also have or create some type of product or service with the pregnancy here because pregnancy to me in a career reading represents the energy of creation. We also see the Empress, the Empress and the usual right away tarot also a pregnant woman. So we see the energy of creation showing up here twice. So you could be creating a product or a service or something that takes away challenges or burdens to others and maybe you're really talented at selling that product or service since it is opposite the empress with these stars here on her head she's being crowned she's earning a lot of abundance perhaps a new idea here 
or this could be something you are helping people with like let's say someone has a lot of emotional weight they're holding on their back and you take some of it off by counseling them or counseling children with the pregnancy maybe that relates to children take it as it resonates or it could be physical in the sense of perhaps maybe you're a doctor and someone has a challenge of having a physical illness maybe they can't breathe <laughs> i'm sorry that is a very dark humor joke i'm sorry that's not funny but maybe they couldn't breathe and they're having difficulties and then let's just say a silly example to make it not so so intense but let's just say this person is wearing a corset and they are finding it hard to breathe they go to the doctor and the doctor is like you're wearing a corset of course it's hard to breathe so there may also be times where you help people see that there was nothing actually challenging there that they just had to find a different way to do it because even if we see here this woman is holding them all upright like this and it looks like it's all about to fall down but if you think of it she could carry it in a different way that is less burdenful like maybe if she carries one half at once and then the other half the next time does that make sense so some of you could also be doing that since we see a corset here being the challenge <laughs> you get what i mean my pal number threes um i don't know how that would be but maybe you're a therapist and then you tell people they were never stuck in the or you show people they were never stuck in the first place they just had a big load of emotions to carry um does that make sense or let's say it is physical like i mentioned maybe taking away something um if someone is physically ill with something treating them by taking it away or i can also see this energy is like the seven of swords stopping something from happening happening that is bad so like we saw the example of pregnancy and children so perhaps some social work is here um, taking away the bad energy that is making problems or um, burdens in the world does that make sense or like police people here I don't know <laughs> if I go on with examples I'll be here forever but I hope you get the information I'm trying to explain here so perhaps you're really talented at something here like I mentioned some of you I'm getting the feeling that a lot of you are really talented at exploring your own internal world here with the internal explorer card. You're really deep, you're really just able to see deeper into things and situations since the internal explorer card is in water and this card is also covered in water. So water is the energy of deepness, depth, emotion. So maybe you're good at helping people guide them through your, their emotions in some type of way. Maybe you're really talented at that. Maybe you're really talented at seeing deep into things, into topics, ideas, situations, and create more from that. Does that make sense? The best example I can give to this energy and creating more of it, let's say we have a very deep issue um, that needs to be resolved, like we see with the ocean depths and the example we already see here. But you go and research and study it so much and really go deeper than most people in that specific topic or idea as an example and you find much more than everybody else does and you get to create more of a product that helps people get rid of this problem 
does that make sense so that's just another example seeing the energy we already have here or it could be completely different where you're able to just look more deeper into things where you get to create more that advocates to others or helps others transform in some way or just helps satisfy people's what they've already always wanted because people buy things they need and want you know what I mean so if you are looking way deeper into it um, then perhaps you are gonna know more than most people and more people are gonna feel happy as we see her smiling here and laughing to receive that thing that you created whether it's product or service or thing you're providing to people in some type of way to earn the success okay I also feel like you're able to look deep within people not just things and ideas and creative projects it's also deep into people and help them create transformation in their life since it's opposite the death card help them create change in their life and move away from the old energies into growth with the three here showing up with the empress help them move into self-love help them move into abundance after a difficult time help them move into more happier energies more loving energies more free energies with the full card okay some of you could be intuitive with the high priestess and heal people through your intuition or through guidance or through maybe even reiki healing where you take away the bad energy here take away the challenges make them feel free and new release all the old energy heal them with the star so the star talks about healing some of you could be doctors nurses physical healers in some way emotional healers mental healers or spiritual healers you could also be a person or have a talent of giving people hope and helping people believe in miracles with the star like people that speak about their journey and how they overcame challenges in their life and overcame what really burdened them and really made them feel not okay inside and changed their life and grown and had more self-love and went to new energies here with the fool so maybe some of you would be really talented at sharing stories or motivational speaking in some way or telling a story of some kind with what you do maybe even if it's creative and painting a picture for people to see metaphorically in some type of way of something you see very deep or a topic or something you've been through the kind of idea i get here is you are really talented my pound number threes i feel a lot of you have a lot of healing energy because you even chose the blue lace agate crystal and it is a healing crystal it is a crystal that heals people or brings in the soothing effect to towards trauma they're showing me the throat chakra heavily so some of you may be very talented at communication at speaking at singing in some type of way or sharing some type of truth or sharing ideas your communication in some way is pure and loving and that is another talent you have that makes people want to listen to you because you also seem very confident in yourself they're showing me you have a gift or talent of creation creating ideas creating new moments creating products creating services creating different types of things innovative qualities you have the ability and the talent to transform things to make it something better than it once was so let's give the example of dresses you see a dress and it is not looking so great and you transform it or transform people you have the 
talent or ability or gift to really, really change people's lives or transform people's lives with maybe even the things you share or the things you create by inspiring them in some type of way or just create change in people's lives. Like I mentioned, let's say you create a product or a service and this changes people's lives heavily and you get some type of big recognition here with the star, public recognition, like a star, you're loved, you're admired, you're appreciated, you're having an ultimate success of being seen, being in the spotlight and receiving a lot of praise and admiration for the, the change you've made. I feel like that is a talent you may have. Take it as it resonates. They're showing me some of you have a really beautiful talent of being able to change characters, maybe change voices, um, do things in different ways. Like the energy I see is like perhaps acting. Maybe you'd be good at making different types of voices, different types of accents, you know, different types of characters you are able to play. Or perhaps like, let's just give another example. You are able to have different types of things you can do at once or you have this energy of like, let's just say, for example, you're a fashion designer and you can make six different types of dresses and make them beautifully and make all of them so beautiful. But most people can only make one type of dress. I feel like you're very versatile in some type of way. Um, you have a talent of versatility where you can do many great things at once. Um, I feel a visionary energy from you, my pound number threes. Some of you are dancers. They're showing me Hips Don't Lie by Sh Shakira. Um, some of you are really great at making people hypnotized with your hips, like when you dance, if you are a dancer. They're showing me 777. So what, whatever these, whatever these talents or gifts you resonate with are going to bring you a lot of good luck, a lot of fame, a lot of fortune, a lot of success and recognition. I also feel the energy that some of you really have a talent of connecting to children or animals or just like younger people. Um, it doesn't have to be children, but younger people. So the way, the best way I'd put it is like, let's say a person that wants to well, we see a book here. So let's say a person that wants to make a children's story book is able to communicate in a way to children because they have a vivid imagination and they are able to keep that with them even as an adult. Or let's say you're a teacher and most kids don't listen to the other teachers, but you have a way with the kids of being fun or the teenagers of being fun and uplifting and adventurous that they trust you and naturally listen to you. That kind of energy. So maybe you're influential to most people, not just your type of age or your type of demographic in some type of way. You're able to go towards more people and more people can relate to you regardless of who they are, where they came from, the age you know, their language, blah, 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 blah. The feeling I'm getting is the reason some of you also have many healing gifts. I'm getting a lot of different talents and gifts that some of you could have. You know, take it as it resonates, what you feel is most resonating with you. The reason I'm giving so many is because I'm feeling so many different energies. Okay, so take it as it resonates. But I'm feeling a lot of you have healing energy or healing gifts or talents because you have been wounded in some type of way and you have been healing yourself. So you are now like the wounded healer. Um, and the more you heal your own wounds, the mo more you're able to 
understand and heal others because the more you understand yourself you're like an adventurer and explorer the more you understand yourself the more you can understand others and that is a talent you have because when you understand others you can advocate to what they want or need like i gave that example of if you understand a problem you are going through then you can think okay i may not be the only one being with this problem because there are how many billion people on earth you get what i mean so the more you know yourself maybe it also influences the energy of something you create does that make sense so all the energies are just coming together in a beautiful wave i'm also feeling the energy that a lot of you are very good at manifesting your desires through the successes that i mentioned but it's like the energy of desire here showing up it is the energy of you really desiring to create that really desiring to grow really desiring to celebrate while you work and while you um, learn and grow and even while you are doing hard work you still have a desire for it you still have a desire to try out new things with this to have new ideas to always have n this new energy this bright energy while doing it and i know sometimes we have talents or gifts or things we love to do and we don't always feel great about doing it but the thing i feel here is most of the time you know we can't be happy every single day but most of the time you are going to have a strong desire to create this or to build this or to do this and that is what brings that manifestation in because you desire it so much it's like the universe is like oh this person over here wants it so much i can see they want it so much i'm going to give it to them all they have to do is receive um, and they're showing me the Powerpuff Girls. Um, it was a rich kid in Powerpuff Girls. And she had a rich dad. And then she slept with like a, a, a whole bunch of money under her hands, under her head. And said, thanks daddy. So thanks to her dad, you know. So the energy and feeling since they showed me that is... It's almost like the universe wants to give to you because the universe sees you as their child. And when you feel so much desire for something, the universe can see how much you want it and see how hard you work even on the days when you don't feel like it. And the universe naturally wants to give it to you or God, whatever you believe in, my pal number threes. And that is also how you are going to get success from whatever these talents are because you desire it so much or because you desire or love that thing so much you you almost feel like you're just flowing through it when you do it every day when you do this specific talent or gift or um, craft or hobby you feel happy it feels like a celebration it feels like you can look at it from a fresh pair of eyes each day and learn something new from it and intuitively create what you want to create out of it if that makes sense so some of you may have the talent of bringing to people to self-love with the empress card some of you could be social media people where you post self-love things or online or show people how to love themselves by you loving you maybe this has something to do with the product or service for some of you for some of you i feel like you are really good at or really talented at making people feel relaxed and comfortable with the empress because that's the feeling i get from it um but also spoiling people because the empress energy kind of reminds me of spa days so maybe some of you are really good at like pampering people making them feel good if you work in like a spa or a nail salon or just making people feel beautiful with the empress energies like if you're a hairstylist makeup artist 
that's the energy I get from the Empress card. Um, fashion as well, luxurious things with the Empress card. The Empress card always reminds me of like luxurious things. So perhaps you, the product or service you create is something luxurious that people feel good in. Like luxurious clothes, luxurious handbags, uh, luxurious furniture, luxurious dog clothes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking... Um, but it's going to be different for everyone. Whatever this is, maybe some of you with the full card haven't even explored some of these talents yet. And maybe some of you are going to intuitively take this message and like think, okay, what do I intuitively feel drawn to? Since the High Priestess has orange around her and orange here, it's like, what do I intuitively feel drawn to from this message? What do I feel interested in? Something new I can try, where I can think out of the box and see it as a new adventure. Um, something new I can try just as a hobby, as fun, and see how it goes and see if I like it from the information displayed here. So those were your cards. I want to pull a few more cards for you. This reading was kind of long for you. But I feel like I had to give a lot of information. They gave me a lot of information. So I had to honor it all. Um, but also the message I'm getting here. They keep showing me you on my pile that are going to be very successful. That are going to manifest a lot of your desires. A lot of your desires are going to come to reality, are going to come to fruition with the pregnancy here. And you're going to create that for yourself and you're going to be so, so, so proud of yourself, my pal number threes. You're going to be in love with the outcome. <laughs> okay, um, my pal number threes, what talents really are going to give them success, the most success in this lifetime? Okay, this deck is upside down. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. So the feeling I get from these cards, Nine of Wands, it's like you take away those challenges, as I said before, and bring celebrations in some type of way, okay? You take away the challenges and bring celebrations. Same meaning, different cards, okay? Do you notice the man here with the head injury? So some of you could literally be doctors. Some of you could be really talented at finances or growing money of some kind here with the King of Pentacles. Some of you could really be talented with event planning, planning celebrations, taking away people's worries in these celebrations. So example, event planner, weddings, um, parties, birthday parties for children. Uh, something along those lines, parties, maybe you really host parties and you take away people's stresses from the whole week. They get to go and have fun. You get what I mean? Or perhaps you own some type of company where people can have fun and celebrate there or maybe they celebrate from their s the service they're receiving from you. The feeling I'm getting, this looks like a church, so some of you could be working in the church, donating to the church, something like that. The Wheel of Fortune lets me know whatever these talents you're drawn to, whatever talents you unlock or you're drawn to is going to unlock the key to your fortune, your wealth, your good luck, but also your purpose. Whichever ones you're drawn to the strongest. With both cards here at the ends, we see two key cards, key shapes. 
So whatever the, you're the most strongly drawn to from this reading is unlocking the key to the success, the wealth, the fortune, good luck, and your purpose. Two more cards for anything else you want to say for how they'll gain the success from these talents. Two of Swords. I guess it's all about making the choice to follow your intuition, even if you can't see the future ahead. Following your intuition, because it can assist future you in receiving a lot of money, a lot of manifestation and wealth and just good energies, fruition of the hard things you work for now, or just even just trying and starting new things because who knows, you may actually end up being really talented at it or really enjoy it. The Queen of Cups let me know that you're going to really pour into the hobbies, the talents and the skills that mean a lot to you in an emotional type of way. Something dear to your heart. Something your heart is calling out for. It's also the energies of compassion, feelings, um, deep feelings and deep nurturing. So you're going to be nurturing your dreams, my pile number threes, and that's going to bring you a lot of success. And you're also going to be nurturing your talents whenever you make mistakes or have little challenges. You're going to nurture those energies to make it a celebratory energy. So that was your reading, my pile number threes. If this resonated, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye.